with the Explorer Motorhomes course number nine of 12. And this is off the grid. If you're new to the Suzuki Extreme 4x4 Challenge, quick look through the rules for you. Uh, you'll see the gates uh, with the numbers on the top of them. Um, they're worth 100 points apiece. If you hit one of those, you're deducted that 100 points. There's 1,000 points up for grabs for uh, each course as 12 make up this uh, amazing challenge. And at the moment, you're watching Neil Turner and Wade Alexander in hijinks. They've made a pretty good start. You see the officials will put the flag up when the course gate has been cleared. You're not allowed to touch the Suzuki boundary tape. If you do that, your run stops automatically. And if you have a look at the DPS timer, we are on a countdown of 60 seconds. So these guys have got a lot to think about. 800 points so far for Neil Turner and Wade Alexander. They get through 10, and that is a perfect score. That's 1,000 points. So that's 10 gates cleared and inside the time limit. So a fantastic start for the pair from the Bay of Islands. So next to go, this is Boosted. This is uh, Biggs and Crawford, Jared Biggs and Fletch Crawford. These two have been around for quite some time. Second equal on 6,500 points going into this round. And so far, so good for Jared Biggs through two without any problem at all. So negotiates three and is okay there as well. Currently sitting in second in the place. He's going to make that turn just as tight as he can so he gets to six, but unfortunately he doesn't go any further. Well, it's about momentum. You've got to carry a little bit of speed coming up to those humps, and they've beach boosted on the top of that rise. Next to go, this is uh, Russell Luders and Chris Tomlin. You're watching from the onboard shot into the eyes of Chris Tomlin, the co-driver. This is a sport about inches. They're safely through two. Negotiating three as well. Saluda's ninth place going into this, course number nine of 12. Just look at the way he uses the bank just to turn that Cowper track just perfect. But he hasn't carried momentum either, and he's going to be in the same situation as Biggs. He's lost his momentum, and he's beached uh, the general. This is a man brand new to the sport of 4x4 trialling. This is two-time New Zealand sprint car champion Jamie Larson, and alongside of him is Jacob Higgins. The track is uh, Nitro Turtle. Jamie's uh, done a good job so far. He has done the um, Lucas Oil's 4x4 New Zealand Trials Championship, but other than that, this is uh, quite new to him. And so far, so good for the man from Palmerston North. That was the one that was giving everyone trouble, no problems at all for Larson. Jacob Higgins, they've got time to back up. Have a look on the DPS countdown. You'll see a 60 second countdown. Still to the good of that. Now he wants to keep off the gates and he can't do it. He plucks number seven. And as I said before, that off camber is ridiculously steep. So he's got time to back up again. Nine seconds now, and he clips gate number nine as well, and number eight, I should say, as well. So now he's in big, big trouble. 600 points on the board, and oh, he saved it. I thought it was gone for all money, but he saved it. But he ran out of time, so that's probably not what, what he was looking for. This is the overall leader after eight uh, courses. This is Sam Thompson. And Mitch Caldo, it's another nitro truck. And he has been an example of consistency right through the morning's proceedings here at Turakina. And he's watched his predecessors go through. And sometimes that's a help and sometimes it's a hindrance. At the moment, it's a big help for Sam Thompson because he's clear so far. Got time to back up. Time is definitely on his side. This is the one that's been giving a few people trouble. He's going to take the high line and try and get around course. Uh, gate number eight does so. And just drifts a little bit wide. You see the uh, four-wheel braking coming into effect here as they line up course number nine. Oh, and he just clipped it with the back of the truck. Oh, that's bad luck for Sam Thompson. So that's 900 points inside the uh, time limit. This is a man currently second equal with uh, Jared Biggs. This is Kevin Hermison and Nick Hamilton. 
Finished second in the Lucas Oil's New Zealand 4x4 trialling. Been around the whole seven years of the Suzuki Extreme 4x4 Challenge, brought to you by Cowper Trucks. Not only as a driver, but as a course designer and builder as well. He loves this stuff, and he's having his best performance ever. The truck is the Gambler. It runs independent four-wheel suspension. Up until last season, it was running four-wheel steering, but they've gone back to a more conventional rear end. And this is a good run for Kevin Hermison. Once again, keep an eye on the DPS countdown. Time is on his side for the moment. Takes the high line, follows the blue line, which is a guide for the driver and the co-driver as to where to put the truck. Talking all the time, communication is the key. Let's see what happens with Hermie. Gets through nine, can he get through 10? I don't think he can, he's gonna run out of time. He's gonna have a second bite at it. He's not gonna get there, two, one, zero. He's out of time. So 900 points. So that leaves us pretty much where we were going into this one with Thompson in the front, Hermison in second. This is Stu and Liam Earl going into this one. They were sitting in 11th place, so it's been a tough old challenge for Stuart and Liam. So far so good though. Clean sheet, time looking pretty good, over 30 seconds to go. This is where the early runners had trouble though. Just the right induction of throttle gets them around that safely. Finished third in New Zealand in the national title chase. You see the flags go up, that means a clearance on the gate. Let's see how he gets through eight. He's got time, he can back up. Although time is starting to be a bit of an issue. It'll be 10 seconds by the time they get uh, straightened up again. Through eight, once again, they drift out wide to get a good smooth trajectory into course number nine. And he can't do it, it's nine. And it runs out of time before he gets to 10, so 800 points for the Earls. This is last season's winner. This is Neville Mather and Richard Werner. The truck is the Predator. It's a nitro truck. Now this time last year, they were in all sorts of panic because they had a front diff problem on this truck and it maybe was gonna cost them the win. Time tells us that it didn't and they took out the championship last year. They're a little bit off that pace this time round though, but looking pretty good at the moment. Neville currently sitting in fourth place, so not completely out of it. Oh, and that beast as well. Once again, they didn't carry the momentum. Bit of a chat between uh, Richard and Neville. The next to go is Scott Beggs. He's a three-time winner of this event. Jamie Taylor sits alongside him as the co-driver, watching him from the onboard situation. So he's safely through the first three without any problem. Time's good, 42 seconds left as we look at the DPS countdown. And the thing with both big brothers, the twins, they attack the courses. So time won't probably be an issue for them. We've got time to back up here, just on 30 seconds to go. So uh, a bit past half distance on the course and 30 odd seconds remaining on the clock. This is looking pretty good for Scott Biggs. Slightly different line from what we've seen before. That means you'll have to back up again. You can do that, of course. Now he's getting into a little bit of time trouble through eight. Can he get through nine? No, he can't. He rolls it over. I tell you what, over the years we've been watching Scott Biggs, he just makes it hard for himself occasionally. Comes from way back, but that one would have cost him. This is Ruben and Shane Mason. The truck is a Howard Biggs combination. These guys currently sixth on 5,800 points, going into this course nine of 12. They're good through three and four. Once again, have a look at the point score on the left-hand side of your screen. Oh, it's a sport of inches or millimetres, isn't it? And they just pulled it up before they nudged that gate. Number six, but they get through it. It's a nice bit of driving coming from uh, Ruben. Just use the individual wheel brakes just to control that slide as he lines up gate eight, through it safely. Now he's in the perfect position for nine. You see how steep that off camber is. He goes through nine. Are we going to see the perfect score from the boys from Taranaki? I think we are, yes. Shane raises his fist in uh, jubilation, and that's a 1,000 valuable points for the Masons. Brilliant stuff. And the huge crowd absolutely loving this. This is the Explorer's Motorhome off the grid. 
Next to go, it is the father and son combination, the Waikato Farmers, Dave and Reese Mackay. The track is a cowper track, it's the Riddler. They've had a, a torrid time thus far on these very challenging courses because they're back in 12th place. They have finished as high as third. They're going to try and make up for it here. They're good so far. Perfect score so far. Time's on their side. Just clocking over the 30-second mark. And like everyone else, I think they're going to have to back up here to uh, take on eight. They went through seven, fine. So perfect run so far, but now time is becoming a little bit of an issue. Through eight. Through eight. Once again, just letting the Cowper truck drift out to get lined up for course number nine. Through nine, but now the time is an absolute issue. Through nine and through ten. Another perfect run for Dave and Reese McKay, and are they happy? You betcha. Nathan Fogden next to go in the, the little Mitsubishi powered Cowper truck. Drummond Contracting are the sponsors. Nathan was the commentator here last year. Oh, and he's made it very hard for himself and he's hit the Suzuki tape, so that means his run will now stop. You're not allowed to hit the Suzuki boundary tape.